Hi, I'm Cinco Coates, a solutions architect with Calendly. Let's set up your Calendly account so you can book meetings that work for you. First, connect your calendar so contacts only book meetings when you're available. Calendly reads what times you are free and busy so you're never double booked. You can also connect multiple calendars if you have a separate business calendar and a personal calendar. Calendly works with Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, such as Outlook 365, as well as Exchange. Next, set your default schedule for when you want to take meetings. It might be open on your calendar, but do you really want to have a meeting first thing in the morning when you might like to focus on other management activities? You can fine tune your availability in Calendly to help you book more meetings or maintain more control of your calendar. I've customized my schedule to reserve Wednesday mornings and Friday afternoons to focus on priorities for managing my business. Now you're going to set a meeting location. Calendly supports video conferencing, phone calls, and in-person meetings. You can even offer options for your contacts to choose from. If you host virtual meetings, integrate with your video conferencing tool. Then, Calendly will automatically generate a unique conferencing link for each meeting. Head over to Integrations and Apps, change our filter to Video Conferencing. You can see here that I've connected my Zoom, but Calendly also integrates with Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, GoToMeeting, and WebEx. You'll notice that Calendly has already set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting. You can start using this right away or go in and add customizations like daily limits and buffers. As you can see here, I've set Zoom as my default location, but I have the option to add additional options as well. If I head to more options, you can see I've created limits and buffers. I have a 15 minute after buffer, meaning I'll never be booked back to back, have a little bit of extra time if a meeting runs over, or reserve that time to finish putting in my notes or take a quick break. I've also set a meeting limit of three meetings per day, meaning once I'm scheduled three times on a particular day, that day is no longer bookable through my scheduling link. And you can create other event types for different meeting scenarios, like group sessions where you invite multiple contacts to join at once. That can be done by hitting the Create button and selecting Group from the Event Types list. Now that you've completed the basics, it's time to invite others to schedule. Remember when you had to ask your contacts for times, realize none of them work, and then went back and forth for days? Well, now you can improve every meeting by adding times directly to an email, including your Calendly signature, and quickly scheduling on LinkedIn with Calendly's browser extensions. As you can see here, I've added a Calendly link to my signature, an easy access for anyone needing to book time with me, but I've also used the Chrome extension to access my Calendly links. I have the option to copy my link, copy a single use one time link, or add times directly to my email. From here, I'll select next week. I'll trim this up a little bit by removing Monday and Friday, once I click Finish and Share, I can simply paste those times right into an email. To access the Calendly extensions, head back over to your Calendly account, select Integrations and Apps, and change our filter to Extensions and Apps. Click on any of these tiles to download the extension. However you choose to share your link, make sure to include a thoughtful message for your contacts and watch those meetings fly in.